Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on dividing rational numbers. Our first key concept is the inverse property of multiplication, which states the product of a number and its multiplicative inverse is 1. Now, another name for multiplicative inverse you may have heard of is called reciprocal. Basically, it's saying 2 thirds times 3 halves equals 1. And sometimes, even less formally than reciprocal, you hear the word flip. So when we're looking to find the multiplicative inverse of each number, the multiplicative inverse of 6 over 7 becomes 7 over 6. So 7 sixths is the multiplicative inverse of 6 sevenths. How you know this is true? 6 times 7 is 42. 7 times 6 is 42. And 42 over 42 equals 1. What about negative 3 and 2 fifths? We need to first turn this into an improper fraction. So 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17 over 5. And now this is a negative 17 fifths, and so the reciprocal of a negative 17 fifths is a negative 5 seventeenths. So negative 5 seventeenths is the multiplicative inverse of negative 3 and 2 fifths. We're going to use the multiplicative inverse in order to divide fractions. To divide by a fraction, multiply by its multiplicative inverse. So, 4 ninths times 3 fifths is equal to 4 ninths times 5 thirds. A lot of the times what you'll hear for this is keep, change, flip. So when we have 4 fifths divided by 3 tenths, this becomes 4 fifths times 10 thirds. Now we can use our cross simplifying once we're down to multiplication. We can divide both the 5 and the 10 by 5 to get 1 and 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 3 is 3. 8 thirds is our answer, which is the same thing as 2 and 2 thirds. 5, <clears throat> excuse me, 5 sixths divided by 3 we have 5 sixth. Now the 3 for right now, let's get this as a fraction, 3 over 1. We're going to keep change flip, so 5 sixth times 1 third. Now there's nothing we can cross simplify here. The 5 and the 3 do not cross simplify. The 1 and the 6 do not cross simplify. Sometimes a common mistake that we make is we'll cross simplify with the division. Hey, look, I can divide. No, don't. You can only cross simplify once you're down to multiplication. So now to finish this, 5 times 1 is 5. 6 times 3 is 18. 5 eighteenths is our final answer. In example 3, we're being asked to find the quotient and write in simplest form, and we have two mixed numbers. So we need to get these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So 9 times 3 is 27 plus 1 is 28 over the 3. And let's not rush this, let's just keep our division. Save the negative for the end. 3 times 9 is 27 plus 1 is 28 over 9. And we'll just kind of bring in the negative now. We don't want to lose track of it, but it's not going to be a factor as we're turning it from a mixed to an improper. Now we can keep change flip, so 28 divided by 3 multiplied by a negative 9 twenty-eighths. And this is where cross simplifying really comes in handy, because I can simplify the 28 and 28 by dividing by 28. So that becomes just 1 and 1. And I can even cross simplify the 3 and the 9 that becomes dividing by 3, 1 and 3. 
So 1 times the negative 3 is a negative 3 over 1 times 1 is 1. So I can simplify this as just negative 3. A car gets 25 and 1 half miles per gallon. How many gallons are needed to travel 238 miles? So to find how many gallons we need, we're going to take our number of miles and divide it by our miles per gallon, and that will get us our gallons. So our miles, 238 divided by the 25 and 1 half, 238 over 1, divided by 25 times 2 is 50, plus 1 is 51, over 2. And now if we multiply by the multiplicative inverse, you know, keep change flip, we get 238 over 1 multiplied by 2 2 over 51. Now most likely what you would have done was multiplied this straight out to get 238 times 2 is 476 over 51 and maybe divided 476 by 51 to get 9.33333 which is the same thing as 9 and 1 third which works. That's our answer. Or you could look for the cross multiples or cross factors and actually both 238 and 17 have something you can divide out. That something is actually 17. So you may not have recognized that which would have been completely fine. 238 divided by 17 is 14. 51 divided by 17 is 3. And so 14 times 2 is 28 over 3, which is another way to get to 9 and one third gallons. Now what if we want to find the quotient right in simplest form of an algebraic expression? Same process. We're going to keep our first fraction, 5x over 8y, change our division into multiplication, and then flip the multiplicative inverse here, 16y over 10. And now we get to try to factor out common factors. The 5 and the 10 I can divide by 5 to get 1 and 2. The 8 and the 16 I can divide out an 8 and get 1 and 2. And now the y and the y, why can't I? Divide by y. y divided by y and y divided by y just leaves us with 1. So now as we compile what we're left with, 1 times x is just x over the 1 times 1 is 1 times 2 times 1 is 2 and then 2 on the bottom. Now we could just write this 2x over 2 and then divide out the 2, which leaves us with x. And that is it for this lesson on dividing rational numbers. Good luck.